back to a new episode here in Swabi as you might have seen already in the teaser video or maybe you didn't see it, it doesn't really matter but in this video I will show you how you can make a cool ink splash opener transition whatever you want to call it it's an ink reveal so basically the way it works is as you have seen in the intro in this video already and then you can add it to slideshows or pretty much anything that you want I got this ink uh, footage from Mixkit I'm showing it right here on screen right now and you can find a bunch of them for free you can also find them in any pretty pretty much any video stock footage uh, website you could probably find some ink splashes or smoke you can use this effect with smoke too so let's just get start started right away it's actually really easy and there's a few different ways that you can make these so let me just show you the first one that I did so for the first one what you're gonna need is a fusion clip so here you can see the first method that I use so for the first method all you need is your media so first you're gonna have your clip in your timeline then you're gonna right click and make a new fusion clip and then you're gonna go to fusion or you can simply click the fusion with that clip selected and then all you gotta do is add your ink as the media too which is this one and then you're gonna add a mate control and what this main control does is that it allows you to sort of like select which it sort of adds like an alpha mate or mat and then you can select the different things here to invert the colors or to like here this is the original right so if you choose here the method of combine alpha it will use the alpha layers if you do combine blue if you have a blue ink then you can use that one but in this case we're gonna use the clear which is basically gonna do is take the black out and just leave the whites in screen then what I did with this time speed was simply because this media ink was pretty slow and it was really long right here as you can see so I just increased the speed of this video without having to go all the way into the timeline and re retiming it and then dragging that one in again and for that you basically just increase the speed by clicking here and you can make it go faster or slower so it's up to you and that was pretty much how it looks like and this one looks a little bit smoother than if you do the other method because it's a little bit more accurate and it doesn't leave any really black points in here in the masking process so for the second method we're gonna use the color tab we're gonna bring our footage right here and we're gonna go to the color tab and here in the color tab this is what you're gonna see the first time that you open it you're gonna right click and you want to add an alpha alpha output and then you're gonna connect this here and then what we want to do is we're gonna here in this qualifier the selection range we want to make sure that this one is selected and you're gonna press click on the dark portion and yeah that's not really what we want right so then the next thing that we that you want to do is go to key and then key you can select this one which is going to invert it and then here also you can play around with these um, to adjust the different settings you can offset it you can add in more gain or like that stuff so but as you can see, as I mentioned, there, it leaves a bunch of black dots or spots in here. And the way to fix this is by going here to clean black. And you're go gonna either like increase it or play around with these points to make it disappear. So by adding the clean white, it sort of like takes the black spots in the in the picture, right? And then if you denoise it, it sort of like adds a little a little bit. You can also add a little bit of blur. And that will sort of like clean it up a little bit. And yeah, so that is pretty much it with using this method. It looks a little bit different. So it, it is all up to which one you like the most. So if you want it to have a little bit of noise, you can leave it as is. If you don't want it, you can use the other method. And the last thing that you want to do for this one is you're going to change the composition mode to screen. And that is gonna make it a little, little bit more smoother or cleaner because of sort of like becomes 
an actual screen which basically takes the blacks out of the picture frame and yeah so that is pretty much how you would do that one using that color tab so let me just show you the next way of doing this so the next way of doing this is if you have a colored ink why would you do if you have a ink that has a bunch of colors because if you just add it let me just go here and add this one so if you have a, an ink that has color but you really like it you can use the screen mode also and it's still gonna do something but it's not really what we want to it's not really working that well right it you can use it as an effect maybe but it's not really working quite well so what we want to do with this is again we're gonna go to the color tab and we're gonna add you can leave, work on this one or you can add a new serial so we're gonna go to add note and add serial so all the things that we work is gonna be done in this one and then we're gonna add an alpha output again and we're gonna connect this here then what we want to do here is first of all we want to make it uh, the color of it um, monochrome so everything's gonna be sort of like black and white or you can just bring all these bars to zero that will also do the same effect then the next thing that we want to do is we need these black spots or black area which the original one is black we need it to be white so for these we're gonna go here to our curves and we're gonna bring these all the way up and then we're gonna create a new point right here in the middle and we're gonna bring the midtones all the way to the you can make it all the way to the bottom it's gonna leave pretty much any small details is gonna take them out but if you just leave it like this it was gonna sort of leave a few of them out and you can also change the whites and make them come a little bit down so it shows up like that whoops there so if you want the white part to be a little bit transparent or translucent you just simply have to not take it all the way up and that is pretty much how you would fix if you have an ink that has color in it because otherwise it won't work to uh, obtain this same effect right because what we want to have is sort of like an area that is white and then that area where you can see the actual image that's behind and yeah so that is pretty much those are three ways that you can use you can choose whichever you like the most or you find less complicated or that you find it more easier i guess um so you can use any of these methods to do the same thing it's up to you it takes less than a minute after you decide which method you want to use um and yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed this video or if you're gonna use this for any of your projects so that is it for today's video and i hope that you enjoyed it once again and i hope to see you in the next episode here in suave